Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is going to be another Java video. So today we're going to talk a bit more about Xtreme. Xtreme is a very old um, serialization framework for Java and XML. I used this a long time ago. Uh, first time I used it, Xtreme was like in 2006. Yes, 2006. Um, um, it is an old uh, framework, but it works. It has uh, very few third-party dependencies and um, you know, if you need to deal with XML, that's uh, an interesting place, uh, um, an interesting place to be, an interesting framework to to use, right? Um, so, um, talking about formats, right? Um, today there's kind of a different formats, like we have more like a JSON in YAML. I personally don't like YAML much. I prefer JSON, but um, you know, I'm not advertising for XML here, just saying like this is more like if you are dealing with a legacy system or a legacy service that you might need to talk uh, XML, that's, you know, one one uh, use case you might have. So, um, so let's take a look uh, on how uh, this works, right? So I have my pwn.xml here and um, I put Xtreme as my dependence. So Xtreme was created by ThoughtWorks. If we look here, Xtreme actually does not pull many uh, third-party dependencies, all right? So there are some few dependencies, but uh, it's kind of okay. Um, and then um, let's let's take a look uh, on, on the POC I made, okay? So I have some pojos here that we're going to serialize and deserialize. So I have an author, I have a book, and I have hobbies, all right? So um we, we we use some extra annotations to do the mappings here so for instance an author has a uid with with id so i want to omit this field in that case i use extreme omit field in this way uh when this is serialized or deserialized this field will be completely ignored then i have this other annotation called as attribute because i want as a xml attribute so email is gonna be an extra uh, XML attribute, and and may, and name because it didn't specify anything will be a regular XML tag, right? And then Xtreme has this um, implicit where you can kind of create an array just repeating the same name of the tag multiple times, and that's what's going on uh, here. There's more configs when we look uh, this list of books. So if you look the book, uh, there is an alias. Um, so, so every class you want to add this Xtreme alias because what you want to do is um, when Xtreme by default serialize or deserialize something, it will put the full fledged uh, package name, right? So, con, in my case here, con GitHub Diego Pacheco Java Pox Xtreme Playground. And if you don't want that long string and you just want um, a short one, that's why we add the alias. We often want to add alias on the, the class types, depending on, on what you are mapping, right? And then I'm adding a converter, right? And there's this Xtreme converter to attribute um, value to converter. In, in other words, what this is going to do is like, it will make everything be attributes, but name. So here in outer name, we're going to be XML attributes and name because it's here, it will be ignored. That, that's what's going on here. And we have, um, you know, a full POJO with uh, properties, full constructor, empty constructor, getters, etc., equals hash codes, and two string. So if we keep going, here I'm playing with some of the things we could use um, Xtreme uh, to do, all right? So there's like different ways depending what you want to do. For instance, let's say um, if something is new, you want to add um, a single tag right? Um, so there's a couple options we could do that. The first option is like we could have a field and there is a default value like string is empty and then uh, we force x string to print no value, right? Um, then the second one is uh, we do the blank uh, string thing but we also have a generic converter that um, look for that and does the right thing. So I have this new tag converter where what, what I do here is I check if the source, or meaning uh, the content, if the content is new or empty, I, I basically do nothing. And by doing nothing, I'm going to have this uh, single tag effect. Otherwise, I just write the value. All right, that's, that's what this converter does. 
And uh, there's a third way to do it, which is we can use Java optional. And if, if Java optional, um, you put the default value as empty, and when you try to serialize this, you're going to get a single tag, for instance, if that's what you need. So here uh, I'm just playing with different things you can do with Xtreme. So here I'm using the implicits uh, and I want to have a field name is subject, right? And um, I, I want this tag to be there. Uh, and then we have a list of uh, interests, right? And that's how I want to be mapped. Uh, and here we also have an alias for uh, hobbies. And instead of a hobs, I want the tag to be hobbies list. Um, and that's why we have there. Right. And if you go to hobbies, we see there's an alias for hobbies, right? And uh, there is also an implicit mapping because this is a list of string. That's why there's that's why there is this uh, X string implicit. And then the field that one appear on the XML is hobby name instead of a hobbies, right? And then we have like the full pojo and everything. Okay, so that's the the mappings. We have quite of advanced mappings there. Uh, we saw the converter. Then I created this serialization uh, service, which you know has a generic here and uh, has an instance of Xtreme. It adds the proper security uh, configurations and just um, I creating, that's a different way to create alias, like by code instead of annotation, right? And every time you use annotation, you kind of need to tell Xtreme where these annotations are, right? So I need to add book and author here. And then, I have two methods to serialize and deserialize, just delegating to extremes and using uh, generics. Then I have a simple test here where we can see it in action, right? So here I just create a list of books, then I add a book, then I create a list of interests, a list of hobbies, and then an author. And then in this author, I add uh, UID, the books, the interests, their hobbies, and name and email. And then I just serialize, uh, and here is a similar uh, test, but the only difference is like I'm serializing first, but also I'm deserializing, right? So I'm getting the XML and also I am uh, getting back to object, right? So we can run these two tests and we can see it's all working as expected. Yeah, there we go. And if we go to serialize, we can see the XML that we generated here, right? Uh, like I said, you see, we see that uh, email is an attribute here. We can see that the book uh, year and author are attributes, but um, name is in a tag, as you can see here, exactly how we map it. We can see the Twitter and Facebook ID being single tags. We can see the implicit array by subject. So this is array in an XML as well, that's a, is a valid instance. It's a bit weird, but depends if your parser needs that or not. And here's the other hobby list that we transform the names as well, right? So we have an XML exactly in the way that we wanted. And here we're just deserializing, right? Getting that back to Java object. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.